Now, this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying. Now, this is what they call a, a golden ace. Uh, this is a, a request I got on on my Facebook page, uh, which I asked uh, many of the members if they, is there any flies they would like to see tied, and this is this is one of them. Now, this is fished in this. I know it's been fished in Shetland uh, and Orkneys, and it, it's a good pattern, but it's a, a, I can see it catching fish anywhere. And it's a nice colour combination. Now, I'm using a photograph to tie it, so I hope I'm right. Or close, anyway. But we'll find out. But anyway, the hook I'm using, this is a fully mill hook. It's a competition heavyweight size 10. Thread I'm going to be using is the, this is the uni thread, 8 in yellow. The first thing I'm going to do is just run the wax through to get it started. Start at the eye. Now I'm going to come down about 2 or 3 mil, then remove the waste. Now to protect the fly I'm using a, a fine gold wire and the rib of the fly is a Opal Mirage in a medium to show you the spool. There's a couple of turns to catch that in. Now there's the Opal Mirage, this is the UTC uh, Opal Mirage in medium. Now you could use a pearl. Now uh, this is just a kind of modern pearl, it's a wee bit brighter. So what I'm going to do is run the thread down to in line with the barb of the hook, which is there. Now, this is a golden olive. Uh, marabou I'm going to use for the, the body and the wing. First is I need some lengths for the body. So I'm just going to pull off a pinch, hold it at the bottom, and then I'm just going to lightly moisten it and run my fingers through it just to hold it together. I want you to basically straighten up the ends, which is there. And then back to the base of the fibres, and then take a, a loose turn round, pull it in, just allow the fibres to slip through to that point there, and then tighten up. And then just tidy this area up, and work your thread up to where we actually caught in the ribs, all the way up. Tidy this area to there. Give yourself at least 2 mil from the eye to work with the throat, the wing and so on. Now the marabou is not the strongest fibre in the world. It's a very mobile fibre but what we're going to do is we're going to wind this the opposite way that will wind the thread. So when we bring the rib up it will protect it. So we wind up, spreading the fibres as you go. We can draw it back if we want so that we've got a bit of life in the body. We get to the top come across the, the marabou fibres with a turn and then we'll lock that in, keeping the thread tight we'll do and turn on the hook and do the same again and again. Then we can trim away the waste, which is there. But what I'm going to do is just lift out the fibres a wee bit so that when I wind the rib up they sit in. You will get the odd fibre coming forward the eye but we can draw these back. Now we can bring the mirage up first Winding through, just making a space for the rib as we go up. Round about four times is enough. Just draw back any fibres going forward and then bring the mopo mirage up. Secure it in with two or three turns. Trim away. And I'm going to just wax my thread, make sure there's a nice base of thread down there for grip. And again. Now, I'm going to form the wing. Normally, I'd bring the rib up first, but what I want to do is the wing, when I tie it on, I'm going to catch in it, and some of the fibres halfway down with the, the wire. So, just bring it out. You want a good pinch or so. What I like to do is just roll these ends just in my fingers. These are the fine ends that came from the stem of the feather. Then I'm going to line up the tips. So basically, what we do is we punch them apart. See how it's sitting. The length that can be short as long as you like. 
Now, this is tied mainly for competition, so it's got to sit within international rules, which is usually like a shank length just slightly by the bend of the hooks, which is the full length of the fly, which is there. Then what I do is hold the wing and draw back these fine fibres of the marble. We don't need all them. That's a lot of bulk and we can tear them away. So basically what we're doing here is the fine stems of fine fibres are removed so you can see and tie in these much easier. Now the wax is on the thread. It just does, takes a lot of bulk away if you do that. Three or four turns to make sure it's secure. Just check my length. See that's just a tad too long, so I'll go back. Try again. If you're not happy, just go back. Just check. Looks okay, we can trim this away now. Again, a wee bit of wax on my thread. I'm going to tidy this up a wee bit. Then we're going to split the wing in two. So first thing is we just lift it out of the way. We bring our wire up. Now space the wire out quite wide so it's catching in the tinsel. And then as we get halfway up, we can half it. You can moisten your fingers a wee bit. You can draw it back. Catch this down. And through the fibres. Just keep this front half of the wing well, it doesn't look very clever just now, but once we get everything together, you'll see it, it works. Now we get to the top of this, straight turn, come straight up, follow it with the thread, and then we can bend the wire, tighten up. Then we take the thread right towards the eye, and come back up the head, and then bend and break it away. And what we do here is just use the hairdryer just to lift the wing back out. So that's your ring. Looks good, it's spread out, it's got a lot of movement in it. Again, okay, a bit of wax. Now the throat is dyed blue guinea fill. Just don't go, don't put too much on, but enough that you see it. So first thing I do is bring it out 90 degrees from the stem. The tips will line up and then we can tear it away. So we're looking for the points of the fibres. So no longer than the barb. So what I do is pinch and loop up the way, so basically the material's on my side of the thread, get the length that I want, so I basically hold, the, hold that in my finger and thumb, pinch the thread and then come up the way. And then do th three or four turns, then spread it with your nail, see how it's sitting. If you're happy with that, two or three more turns just to make sure it's secure, then we can trim away the waist. Just watch your thread at this point. Now what I'm doing is I'm holding the thread away with my finger. And wax the thread. Tidy up. You will get a reasonable head in this fly because of the amount of materials at the head. Now what I've got here is this is summer duck. These are the main feather, the summer duck, which is a bard. But on the side, in this feather, there's a nice speckled, which is ideal for the top of the wing. So we tear that off. Now, this is only around about maybe 4 5 mil wide length. Just, I would say, it's short to the end of the, the wing, just on the top. Just centre it up, slightly fold it, and then pinch and loop on top. And it should sit nice for you, like that. We can then trim away. Again, make sure there's wax in your thread, tidy this area up. Now I've got two jungle cock eyes. You can use a split jungle cock eye or you can use two like I'm going to do. And then I've actually taken away the fine fibres, I'm just going to show you. So what you can see there is the underside of the jungle cock. I've lined up the ends and then I'm going to set them on the side of the wing. So basically have them sitting on the side. Now I usually come down with a couple of, just a couple of turns to position the jungle cock. Just look at the length. Just slightly short on my side, so I'm just going to go back, just bring that the, the jungle cock nearest myself. 
wee bit longer, that's fine. Again, make sure the wax is on your thread. You need the grip. Now, I'm going to fold these back, these stems. The jungle cork will never, never pull out if you do this. And then build the thread from the eye up. Again, just taking your time. Just a nice head. You could use, you could change the colour of the head. But this is, from the photograph it looks like, it's a, a yellow, so... I think a red head would be nice on it. Now keeping the thread tight, we can now wet finish towards the eye. Again, always forming the head shape. Trim away your thread. We've got these ends of the stem of the jungle cot. We can then trim these away. This side as well. And then what we can do couple of coats of varnish would be fine, so just onto the head, all the way around. Just take your time. If you can rotate the vise, it makes it easier. And there we are. And that's the Golden Ace. Nice mini lure, great, you can see it, it's a lovely shape. But obviously you don't need to tie it golden, you can tie it different colours. Tie in different coloured olives, black. I mean, I tie the Ace of Spades like this, a small version. Uh, it's a great part. You can see, lovely shape, profile, swim really well, and you'll certainly catch fish with it. So, if you enjoyed that, please subscribe and thank you for watching.